I got to tell you, I'm surprised you didn't get a Gatorade bath. <laughs> you know what? I, I told our guys, I said, let's put ourselves in a position where these are games we feel like we're supposed to win. Um, let's celebrate the championships. Let's celebrate those types of wins. And let's put ourselves in a mindset of these are expectations for us that we go out and we play competitive against these teams. And if they end up beating us at the end, they do. But let's let's put ourselves in a position where, hey, we're supposed to be here. We're supposed to play well and supposed to give ourselves a chance to win. That's quite the mindset to come in and beat a number nine team, a team uh, the, the Southern Jags historically all time have, has only ever beat twice. How does it feel to come in here? I mean, just second year head coach and now you did, you conquered quite a feat here. Yeah, you know what, like you said, I think uh, what the record is, uh, the level of confidence that those guys on the other side had, uh, what the feeling was from our guys. Um, and like I said, at the beginning of the game, I told them, I said, listen, go out, earn respect and have fun. Win, lose, or draw, whatever happens, we'll be okay with it if we do those two things. And they did a good job of doing those two things tonight. What was your message out there uh, in that huddle, you know, before the big rally and everything like that? What was your message to this team? Just, just told them that, hey, those are the two things I told you to do at the beginning of the game. You went out and you did those things. We pitched well. We had quality ABs. We played good defense. We ran the bases hard aggressively. And we put ourselves in a position to go out and have a win. Uh, obviously, you don't expect to come out and have that big of a win in that situation. But uh, just knowing that we were, had ourselves in a position there at the end to win it, and we were able to have a big inning against them and then push a couple of runs across late, um, and that kept us in a position to, to go out and finish the game. And Eli Finney, I mean, man, what, what a night for him tonight. What is it about him and, you know, what kind of jumped out of you tonight? What did he have tonight that got helped you guys get there? Tonight, I think the biggest thing for him was he wasn't focused on trying to beat people with stuff. Uh, and a lot of times he gets himself in trouble when he tries to blow fastballs by people and those type of things. We talked about it before the game. I need you to go pitch. I need you to pitch both sides of the plate. I need you to change speeds. I need you to be throwing all three pitches for strikes. Expect to throw 2 change changeups, 2-1 breaking balls, 3-2 changeups. And he did a great job of being able to do that tonight. Why did you put him on the mound tonight? Uh, he's been a guy for us that, that we use him in long relief on the weekends. Um, and to be able to have a guy like that that we want to build up uh, from a starting position that when we get to the tournament, you're playing four games, five games. Now we have the three weekend starters. We have a midweek starter. Now we have four starters when we go into that type of tournament. So to be able to run that guy out as our fourth starter, that's pretty special. Yeah. What did you say to uh, head coach Maneri over there at the end of the game? I know it was a brief exchange, but what, what, what did you guys talk about? Uh, I just told them, you know, one, good luck this weekend. They're going to Missouri. Um, so uh, so that's going to be a tough contest for them. Um, and just thanks for giving me the opportunity to come here and play us. And I know I sat down with you guys uh, early in the season. We talked about this a little bit before. But, you know, you both have such respect for each other. What does that mean to kind of be able to come in here, uh, you know, have respect for someone on the field, off the field, but also at the end of the day, you guys are still kind of friends off the field. You know, is it a different kind of dynamic on the field too? No, you know what? I think it's the same. Like you said, uh, when we sat down that meeting, when they say play ball, we're competing against each other. I'm trying to do the best I can to beat him. He's trying to do the best he can to beat me. Uh, but for me, it's a little bit more because that's a mentor aspect for me. So to be able to look across the other side and see how he does things and try and model what we do after what they do and hopefully put ourselves in a position uh, where people look at us with the same respect that they look at them. Is it kind of a feather in your cap night, or what are you, how are you taking this? Uh, you know, I, I won't necessarily say it's a feather in the cap uh, just because ultimately we want to win a conference championship and put ourselves in a position to win a regional. Um, so we got to finish the year out, uh, and then at the end of the year when there will be some milestones that we'll look back, this will definitely be one of those milestones. And just to wrap things up, what does this mean for this team moving forward and the confidence level that they're going to have after this? You know what? I hope it, it shows them that if you can play with the number nine team in the country and you go out and just play clean baseball with teams that aren't as good as they are, then we should do a lot better.